The purpose of this video is to provide a brief demonstration on the use of data shortcuts in Civil 3D. Within Civil 3D, we have Civil 3D objects. Certain Civil 3D objects can have what are called data shortcuts. Data shortcuts are a means of sharing Civil 3D objects from one drawing to another. Looking under Toolspace, under Prospector, in this view we see data shortcuts down towards the bottom. As I mentioned, only certain Civil 3D objects can have data shortcuts. We see that in this list in that we can use data shortcuts for surfaces, alignments, pipe networks, view frame groups. Profiles are actually a function of alignments in Civil 3D objects. Hence, if an alignment has a profile, that's actually something that can also be shared via data shortcuts. For this example, we are in a drawing called EG Topo. In this EG Topo is an existing surface model that's already been built. Looking under Prospector, under Surfaces, we see that this surface is called EG. In going through and creating data shortcuts, we need to have some sort of a directory structure. For this example, we have a projects directory in a J drive, which we can assume to be a network drive. Under the project directory, we have what we are going to call project folders. The project folders in this example are named based upon a two-digit year designation and a three-digit project number. In this example, we will be using the project 11001. Opening up this project, we see that there is already a drawing folder. And in this drawing folder is EG Topo, the drawing we are working in. The program, when it creates data shortcuts, will automatically create some subdirectories for managing data shortcuts. In this case, as we begin creating data shortcuts for this surface, we go to Data Shortcuts, right-click on Data Shortcuts, and the first thing we need to set is a working folder. The working folder is essentially the directory that holds your projects. Being that our projects are these subdirectories here, our working folder would have to be projects. I highlight projects, I click on OK. The next step is within that working folder, which project do we want to access? This is established by saying new data shortcuts project folder. If you recall, in our project 11001, all we have is a drawing folder. What Civil 3D will do when we create a project folder is create its own directories for data shortcuts in this path here, 11001. Going back to the drawing, again we do this by right clicking here under data shortcuts, going to new data shortcuts project folder, and essentially I'm actually going to use the existing uh, directory structure which was 11001. After I hit OK, I'm going to go back to Windows Explorer to look at what's been done. Under 11001, there is no longer just the drawing directory, but there is also a shortcuts directory. Opening up the shortcuts directory, we see that there are subdirectories for alignments, pipe networks, profiles, surfaces, view frame groups. Again, these are the Civil 3D objects for which we can create data shortcuts, and this was done automatically. Going back to Civil 3D, I can now create a data shortcut into that project by right-clicking under Data Shortcuts and choosing Create Data Shortcuts. Within this drawing, there is only a surface model. Hence, when I run the command to create a data shortcut, as the program looks in this file, in this current drawing EG Topo, for things for which it can create a data shortcut, it only finds one surface, which is the EG surface. To create a data shortcut for the EG surface, I will turn on the checkbox for EG surface and select OK. After selecting OK, under Data Shortcuts, under Surfaces, I now see an entry for an EG data shortcut. I can verify this in the project folders by looking under 11001, Shortcuts, Surfaces, 
and here is the XML file which has been created for the data shortcut. The XML file simply tells us where the drawing is and what object data it can extract. In the next part of this example, we will open up an existing drawing. I'm going to go to Open. I am browsing to the J Drive, Projects, 1101, and Drawing. And here I already have a drawing called Grading. For this example, we are going to demonstrate the use of data shortcuts by assuming that we want to do a grading scenario or a grading design on top of the EG surface for which we created a data shortcut for. So while I am now in the grading drawing, I'm going to browse down to data shortcuts. Notice that the last known working and project folder is still current. Therefore, it sees that EG is an existing data shortcut which I can reference into this drawing. And I can reference it by right-clicking on the entry and choosing Create Reference. Under the Create Surface Reference dialog, I am being prompted for a name. I'm going to keep it the same as the originating file. And a surface style. I'm going to choose 2 foot and 10 foot contours. I select OK. And upon zooming extents, notice that I now have a surface in this drawing. And this is the surface coming from the EG topo file. Looking under the prospector, I verify that the surface is in this drawing and I can tell that it is a data shortcut based upon this small shortcut icon next to the name of the surface that's been brought in. Now that I have the EG surface in this drawing, I can do things like create a grading design over it referencing the existing topo surface. Some final points in dealing with data shortcuts. Here, should you desire to open up the original file from which the data shortcutted object came from, you can simply select the data shortcutted object, right click, and choose Open Source Drawing. Any edits to the original file, once saved, would propagate to any files which data reference this surface object. For example, taking this point, and moving it, we find the surface needs to be updated within this model. After rebuilding the surface and saving the file, as I return to the grading drawing which references the EG surface, notice on the lower right I get a balloon notification. References to data shortcut definitions may have changed and may require synchronization. Simply select the synchronize link and the surface will be updated. Also, data shortcuts, once they have been brought into the drawing, can be made part of the drawing, thereby removing the link to the originating file. This is done by going to the prospector, going to the object model, right-clicking, and choosing Promote. This will effectively make the surface part of the grading drawing. Please be aware that running this routine would mean that you now have two duplicate copies of this surface. There is an EG surface in the original file, EG topo, and in the grading drawing. The last point on data shortcuts is this. Once the use of a data shortcut has been completed and is no longer necessary, it can be removed from the drawing. To detach a civil 3D object that has been data shortcutted into the current drawing, you can simply go to Prospector, go to the Civil 3D object model, right-click, and choose Delete. After removing the object model, in this case the surface from the grading drawing, notice that it is no longer an entry under Prospector. However, because of its use as a potential reference into other drawings under data shortcuts, you will still find the data shortcut EG. To permanently remove a data shortcut, go to Data Shortcuts. You can right-click on the entry and choose Remove. Removing a data shortcut in this way would mean 
that the EG surface, which is in the EG topo drawing, could no longer be data referenced into any other files. The surface is still in that drawing. Deleting the data shortcut simply means that it can no longer be brought in into another drawing. Having deleted the data shortcut, we can verify this through Windows Explorer. As we go through Project 11001, Data Shortcuts, Surfaces, and we find that the XML file is now gone. This concludes this brief presentation on data shortcuts. Thank you.